I guess talk about the defensive effort tonight, uh, especially uh, Jessica Granquist who had 38 digs and made a number of plays to keep rallies alive so your team could get some points in long rallies. We made a lot of good scrambling plays tonight. I, I'm not sure that we were as disciplined on defense as I'd like us to be, but uh, we, we kept the ball off the floor uh, real well at, at, some, at some key times. And Jess Granquist was in the middle of most of that. The team as a whole had uh, 10 solo blocks. You had six from Ashley Whitman and three from uh, Tori Dixon. Talk about those two uh, players' ability to kind of just read blocks and, uh, you know, be able to come up with one-on-one -on -one plays. Yeah, it's unusual for uh, two freshmen to lead the team in solo blocks. Um, but those those two, are, they, as I've told you several times, uh, both of them play uh, beyond their years. They, they're mature players with a lot of good volleyball IQ. And tonight it expressed itself. And, and blocking and not just hitting, digging, and, and the rest of the game. You guys uh, worked a little bit in practice, kind of heading into the weekend, kind of closing out in situations. Um, just talk about uh, just talking about uh, what your team was able to do in the fourth set. Obviously, you would have liked to close it out in three, but uh, talk about if that was kind of a step forward for them to you know come back in a tight situation and close it out in four tonight. Well, it certainly was a, a better outcome than. You know, there, are, there are three losses where we got up 2-0, or at least 2-1 in one case, and 2-0 in the two other matches, and then ended up losing in five. Uh, that situation was beginning to set itself up, but uh, I, I was really pleased in the, at the end of the fourth set for how well we played and, and uh, the big plays that we made, particularly Tory Dixon uh, at the end making those uh, big plays as a blocker and as a hitter. Um, you know, we're going to have to play in more of these, these types of matches before we really be, uh, are able to call ourselves an experienced team. Uh, it's, a, it's very tough to, to get pushed at the end like that and, and come back with your best stuff when you don't have experience. And I'm, I'm thinking that probably another two, three, four matches like this and we'll, be, we'll begin to have the ability to, to fend off an opponent. Finally, you guys are coming off a grueling stretch with eight road matches. Uh, you get the chance to... I go Friday, Sunday this week. Does that help you out at all in terms of uh, just getting the players one more extra day of not, you know, competing and uh, kind of having that extra day to compete against Indiana on Sunday? Well, I think it does help, uh, particularly when you have a thin roster like we do. We, we have to play virtually everybody. And to play a, a long four-set match like we just got finished doing uh, and have to get up and let's say we play tomorrow night, Saturday night, uh, that makes for a very short turnaround, not a lot of recovery time. But being able to play Sunday at 1 o'clock gives us the kind of recovery time I think a team needs in order to play well after the, this type of match. Thanks, Mike, and good luck on Sunday. Great. Thank you, Steve.